The Buccaneers will begin the process of building their team for the 2015 season starting after the Super Bowl. Dates of note include March 2nd as the final day for teams to designate franchise or transition players, March 10th when teams must be under the 2015 salary cap, March 19th when trading begins, April 20th when offseason workouts can begin, and April 30th is the NFL Draft. With defensive tackle Gerald McCoy getting a massive payday last year with a contract extension, it is time to look at Levante David. 2015 is the last year of David's contract and the Bucks need to wrap him up to an extension no matter the cost. This needs to happen before the season even starts. New offensive coordinator Dick Cocher has given some insight into his planned offensive philosophy for the Buccaneers. I think it's foolish to take a system and ram it down a player's throat if that doesn't play to his strengths, the former college head coach at Boise State and Arizona State said. With that said, you can't always make it fit exactly perfect for every single guy you've got on the team. But for the guys that are touching the ball a lot, you need to play to their strengths, he said. Butch Berry, the 2014 offensive line coach at Central Michigan, has been hired by the Buccaneers as assistant offensive line coach. Other additions to the coaching staff include Andrew Weddinger and Miles Smith as quality control coaches. Weddinger was an offensive assistant in Atlanta the past three seasons. Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, stated on his ESPN Milwaukee radio show that he believes the field conditions at Raymond James Stadium has contributed to injuries he has sustained while playing on the field. Rodgers said, quote, When you put down so much sod and it's a very uneven and soft, I think it can lead to more injuries. I played there three times and been hurt there, in my opinion, directly related to the field, twice. End quote. Warren Sapp, the Super Bowl winning defensive tackle for the 2002 Buccaneers and Hall of Famer, was released from his analyst job at the NFL Network for being charged with soliciting prostitution an assault in Arizona during Super Bowl 49. Bud Light, a beer sponsor that had advertisements featuring SAP, has now pulled their ads. A representative for Anheuser-Busch said, quote, Warren SAP appeared in one of our television commercials last fall, but he is not currently being featured in any of our advertising. End quote. And that's today's Buccaneers news in two minutes or less. This has been the Buccaneers Observer. Don't forget to like and subscribe.